subscribe. Hold on, we're gonna have to try this out real quick. Hold on. Ooh, girl, look at this. There's no white cast. But your previous friends, previous job, previous opportunity, you picked it when you were empty. That is good. Okay, this is my first time trying this mic on this camera. So we're gonna see if it sounds different or if it sounds the same. Because if it sounds the same, I'm gonna just take the mic off. I got the topicals, it's on my lip. I think it's called Slick Solve, yeah. It says it's a mint lip balm. And it has hy hyaluronic acid, ceramides, glycerin, and rice bran wax in it. And I don't know if it's gonna show my nails jacked up, but. But yeah, I really like the applicator. I like when the applicators are like this. Let me get a little closer. Um, so what I was gonna say is, it's not what I expected. I'm a Vaseline girl. Y'all know how you put Vaseline on your lips and it be just like smooth. Um, it's like that, but this does have a little bit of a stickiness like a gloss. I wasn't expecting it to look sticky. I mean, to be sticky because when I see everybody else put it on, it just seemed like it's not sticky at all. And it does stay on. In that aspect, it reminds me of a gloss, basically. Like when I drink stuff, it gets on there, but it's still on my lips. I think it's good, but you like don't like sticky, you might not really like it that much. And also, I don't know if this is gonna be an intro to my vlog, but hi girls, welcome back to my channel. We're here for another vloggy vlog, a week in the life of B, okay? And I got some PR, which I'm about to unbox in just a second when I finish telling y'all about this. We have an exciting PR oh my gosh like god did his big one with this one like i mean i don't know i know the girlies kind of like toned up when it comes to pr but i feel so privileged and blessed to have received this um and i'll tell you why later but yeah y'all something else i've been taking i had this, got this from tiktok shop and i posted a video on it it's the sour Stop bitters the glare that that glare memes this one is by serene herbs and I'm almost done with it. I've been taking it for about six days. Um, me and my roommate have been taking it for six days. That's why it's empty. But I feel like it has helped a lot with my gut health. Like y'all can't really see it. Um, but I have PCOS and it comes with a lot of different stuff. But one thing I struggle with is like my digestion and bloating. I am always bloating. I don't really feel like my stomach is really that big. But it's always big because it's bloated type thing, which is very irritating because when I put clothes on, I don't like the way I look. And then I don't want to get dressed. I ain't going to be real. I'll be like, even in this um, robe, I'm like, girl, it's just not giving. Um, But since I've been taking it, my bloating has gone down a lot. I will also say that my period has literally been on for two weeks. I really do think that this has helped. It says on the back that it helps with colon and kidney care, but I do think in gut health, I do think it has really helped with my gut health. And I've noticed that the bloating and then like the bloating in this area has gone down and have used the bathroom a lot more too. Sorry for the TMI. So I might actually get another one of these. It's so nasty. It's so nasty. But if it's gonna help my health, we're gonna do it. 
we gonna do it. So yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all about that. And if y'all have tried sour salt bitters, let me hear about it in the comments. I wanna hear about what y'all got to think about it. And I know some people just do the sour salt leaves as well, which I don't know if I'm there yet, but I heard there's a tea and y'all know I like tea. So yeah, um, anyways, the exciting thing for today is we got a PR package and it's a skincare PR package. It's huge. I tried to peek in here and I was like, I'm gonna save it for the video because it seemed like there's a lot of stuff in here and I like had a little meltdown. I was so grateful, but yeah. I got this from La Roche Posay. Oh my gosh. I um, have tried their brand before. I used to have the face wash. I think it's the gentle face wash. For UGC and content, I have reached out to another brand that I'm a huge fan of like a couple weeks, like three or four weeks ago. And they left me on red. And I was so discouraged like, okay, well maybe like I don't have enough following or maybe they didn't like my UGC portfolio. Da, da. Anyways, they never responded. And I saw that they had been working with people and stuff and I was like, dang. So I felt discouraged. I felt real discouraged. And literally like a week later, they reached out and said, hey, we love you, blah, blah, blah. We wanna, we wanna send you some items. And I'm like, good i prayed and i was like help my content to reach people the decision makers and the people that needs to see this and it's so crazy that i feel like he turned around and boom now i have this i'm super super grateful like starting over and revamping my accounts and stuff and the beauty and stuff has been so hard because when i first started this channel i was weird for making a, a, a youtube channel like it was 2016 people were like girl who do you think you are now revamping in 2024, it's a common thing. Everybody wants to be a content creator. It's so many people for them to choose for. From, and like, I'm literally so grateful. I know I could keep talking about it, but I'm so, 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 so grateful for this. And I really need to get my skincare together. As a girl with PCOS, I have to shave my face a lot and I be going through stuff. I actually shaved my face today. It's a little red right here. Um, I'm hoping this, okay, yeah. It's a little red right here because I was picking at it. But I actually shaved my face today. I don't know if you guys can tell. Because after this, I'm actually about to film a video about how I lost my YouTube monetization. And then after I take the makeup off from that, I'm going to try out this skincare. Thing. Bro, okay, they wrote a letter. It says, hello, Brittany, hope you're doing well. Here are a few products to add to your self-care regimen. We're including the following for you to test. And it's a list of all, uh, two, four, six, eight. About 10 products, it's crazy. Hope you enjoy incorporating these in your skincare routine. Cheers to healthy skin. <laughs> this is crazy. What? I am so... Like I've been on PR packages or PR lists for companies before and they've never sent me this much. Oh, this robe is not giving. The Sika Plus Gel. I need this. Uh, y'all been watching my content for real? How y'all know? <laughs> Listerin 21% in here and this is skin protectant. I definitely need that because I be using, I feel like I use Vaseline as my skin protectant. <laughs> I got the UV Correct Sunscreen SPF 70 because your girl do not be putting on sunscreen. It's like they knew. Well, I barely go outside, but still, I need to put on some sunscreen. It's a daily lotion sunscreen. Helps reduce visible signs of sun damage, uneven skin tone, fine lines, and rough skin texture. They got all the molecules on here and stuff, okay. Hold on, we're gonna have to try this out real quick. Hold on. It has a pump 70, it's crazy. But I'm gonna try it out. Ooh! Girl, look at this. Where's the white screen? It blend. Oh, baby. There's no white cast. There's no white cast. There's no white cast. Did y'all see that? Girl. Pure Glycolic Acid Serum. And it says this one is a dark spot. A dark spot corrector? Y'all, do y'all see this? Do, 
Y'all might not be able to see it. Do y'all see these spots? PCOS be beating my ass. The dark spots. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Like, I need all this, I need all this. Ah! I ain't there yet, they bougie. Oh, this looks like some. Oh, this looks like some prescription grade. What, like, hello? This is giving prescription grade. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna open it there. But I will be shooting content. I might do, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all wanna see from out of this haul at the end of the video or in the comments. Um, Cause I know I'm gonna do a lot of short form with it. I just don't know if the girlies really wanna see me just testing skincare on here. The Lipocar Wash AP Plus and the Lipocar, I don't know if that's how you say it, lotion. The Lipocar, is it Lipocar? Cause I'm probably saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. So this is a gentle foaming moisturizing wash and then this is the daily repair moisturizing lotion. Ooh, it's a prebiotic, thermal water is in it, shea butter, niacinamide, I think is how you say that, it says dermatologist tested and fragrance free it says accepted by the national eczema association that's big that's major okay that's a gentle foaming cleansing oil <sighs> i was just talking to somebody about a cleansing oil and i like so i was just talking to somebody about oil i, I be saying oil be be my act oh the way i say it normally is oil oil she's from the south i know oil and water but I be trying to say it right for this content. Oil. Oil. <laughs> this oil cleanser. It says up to 24 hour hydration starting in the shower. Suitable for babies to adults. Oh, baby, when I take the makeup off today? But yeah, I, I used to use the Clinique one and I just ran out of it actually, so. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know their products actually have expiration dates. It don't say like 12 months. This says 8 20 26. Do the other ones like that? They're all like that. This one says 7 20 26. Interesting. So I guess if you don't open it, it could last until that time. But on here it says six months. But they also have dates. Because I do have makeup like that and like products where I'm like, I haven't opened this, but is it still good? So that's actually really helpful because sometimes I have stuff I haven't opened and I'm like, should I just throw it away? Because what if it went bad without me opening it? Like, I'm super grateful for this and I can't wait to use all the products. Like, and I wanted to share it with y'all because, you know, yeah, yeah. If y'all hear something, Jack is snowing in the background. Like, if he be sleeping like he got a full time job. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm gonna eat and then I have to film this video about my YouTube monetization. I was talking to the girls on threads and they had questions, and I looked it up and I said, let me just make this into a video. telling y'all about this Panera drink I be getting and I feel like I done found the one I want because I tried Panera like a whole bunch of times and I ain't like it I had to zhoosh it up a little bit um, but this coffee is busting and I'm ready to get it it is the iced caramel latte 20 ounce now I feel like they made them bigger actually I get almond milk cinnamon crunch topping 
Um, those are the two modifiers. <clears throat> That's not two modifiers, basically. I get almond milk instead of regular milk, and then I add cinnamon crunch to it. I love cinnamon so much. And then y'all can see. Y'all can see it. Mm. I really was craving a coffee today, and honestly, my period just went off, y'all. It was on for two weeks. So, and I got a sandwich too. I'm actually, I have a cosplay and gaming channel. I'm actually about to play this new game. I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers play and post it on that channel. If you're into like nerdy things, gaming and cosplay, y'all follow me on that one because I just want to separate the two. But yeah, I am a cosplayer, y'all. Black, black cosplayer gamer and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to do some gaming content today. And um, before I start, I want to eat Chipotle chicken avocado sandwich from Panera and I think I tried the breakfast one and it was so good it didn't have me in the show code ever since but I'm treating myself to this and also like a gaming day the new Fortnite Fortnite just dropped a new like rollout for them so I know I'm gonna play with my friends play Fortnite with my friends later and then now I'm going to go play you're not my neighbor or whatever it's called and yeah i'm super excited it's about like finding the doppelgangers it's, you're working as security but basically doppelgangers be trying to come in like the residents and they're actually aliens and they're trying to kill folks so basically you got to look at their id and stuff and like call and do stuff like that to make sure that it's not the doppelganger and it's actually the person and i've just been watching people play and it looks like so much fun so we're gonna play that on the cosplay channel <laughs> and let me show y'all the sandwich Ooh, it looks so good, but yeah. This is a sandwich. I'm gonna eat that and then we're gonna get into that. And then I'll check back in with y'all later. I know you're supposed to have a hat on. Where's your ID? Good morning. It's really not morning. It's like afternoon. It's literally lunchtime. But yeah, we're here. We're here. Oh my gosh, y'all. So, guys, guess what? We hit 3,000 subscribers. We hit 3,000 subscribers. We hit 3,000 subscribers. I don't know, oh my God, I'm so, 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 so grateful. Like, my main goal for that video, and it's because of my last video, is getting like, I think it's at like 12,000 views now. Such a lot, oh my gosh. And um, I was so happy that people were trying to in and said they didn't know and they helped them. And also like the general like theme of my content is I want to help people. Even with my vlogs and stuff, I just want to people see people that look like them doing things and still aspiring for better. So like that's such a big deal for me. Um, Cause personally, when I see people like me, or not necessarily like exactly like me, but with similar characteristics as me, <sighs> doing great things or like rooting for themselves or showing up for themselves, it inspires me. So that's really the whole like concept of my, my channel in general. Um, since I done had a lot of like downfalls lately, we, it's, it's time for restoration and you know, to come back, so. I can't believe we have 3,000 subscribers. Like, I've been at 2,700 subscribers, I believe, since like 2020. Four years. And I did take a break, but even still, like, we're at 3K. I'm so grateful. Like, God is so good. And I just thank everybody for their support. But in other news, it's a depression girly type of week. I don't know. My depression is so, so bad, I could barely get out of bed. And then the time change made it worse. So today, we're about to go get some Dutch Bowls and some Crystal. And I know, don't judge me, I like Crystal. For some reason, it's a comfort food. But we're going to Dutch Bros. And I never had Dutch Bros before, but um, at work, one of my coworkers would ask us if we wanted them, and I never had it. I like Dutch Bros better than Starbucks. But the thing is, the Dutch Bros is like 20 minutes away from where I live, so I'm like, how much do I like it? This is my little going to get Dutch Bro outfit. <laughs> We got my little shirt. I love this little shirt. It just says the best version of you. Love that. Got it from Shein and these jeans and my looks. <laughs> so yeah, this is the vibe. It's just chill vibe. And also, 
Y'all, I talk about this plant a lot, but get you a plant. I feel like me putting this plant right here has changed up the aesthetic and everything in my content. And I want another one. So if you're trying to, if you think about getting a fake plant, get it, girl. It's gonna help. So yeah, these people in Nashville don't know how to drive, but y'all, come on, let's go. Can I have a medium ice caramelizer? Yes. What is the phone call? Uh, the like soft top. Y'all, so we got over here and we ordered our stuff. We're about to get, we're waiting in the line, but y'all, what, the crystals is gone. The one that was over here is like 25 minutes away. And then I was gonna think about getting Jim and Nick's, but that's just as far I love Jim and Nick's, y'all. So I don't know what I'm getting. I'm a content creator. Of course my battery died as soon as I decided to vlog. <sighs> now we finna eat this steam boys. Bow and dumplings, is that how you say it? Bow, bow, bow. I got my bow bow. Is that how you say these? And I got a pork one. I got pork dumplings and pork this. I should have just switched it up. Is it gonna be juice in this? Hmm. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Like, I'm gonna get another bite because that first bite was just bread. Don't get mad because I'm. Um, I definitely shouldn't got pork about. Walks out. 
You make better decisions when you're full. Amen. See, your last five exes? <laughs> hmm? Not your last ex. Your last five, five exes. <laughs> Sound like a woman with the woman at the well issue right there. But but your previous friends, previous job, previous opportunity, you picked it when you were empty. <laughs> Y'all not hearing me today. And when you thirsty, you'll drink from whoever got something. To are y'all hearing this and so I'm trying to get you to see how tiredness is an enemy against your faith because